Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be on some of the Zodiac combos that we now have access to because of Maximum Crisis' release in the TCG, giving us access to Zodiac Shock at 9, as well as Zodiac Hammer Kong to a much lesser extent. But, the deck has a lot of combos that it now has access to, both very extensive and very basic. The deck has really clawed back a lot of its former glory pre-ban list, where the deck had a lot of good, strong one-card plays that definitely let the deck play very efficient Yu-Gi-Oh! So we actually get a lot of those back now because of the Chaka Nine's addition into the card pool because Chaka Nine allows you to have a nice little niche extender built into the deck that gives you a random special summon back. Now, you can't use it for an XC summon overlay material, but you can do a lot of nifty little things with it that are very, very good extenders for the one card plays. Now, there's a few videos I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days over the next couple of days where I show you a lot of the more in-depth combos based off like the addition of Chaka 9 and all that sort of stuff like the in-depth combos, the tedious combos, all that sort of stuff but then I'm also going to be showing you in this video the basic combos because for those of you that are not aware of what this deck can do post Maximum Crisis you definitely want to be educated because I feel like this deck definitely still needs to be respected and can definitely be a commanding force in the format alongside True Dracos because of how consistently it can just access good card advantage, good raw card advantage yet again but so in this video I'm going to be showing you the most basic of basic combos. In future videos, I'll be showing you some more of the extended combos. But this one is just one card combos. It's either one Zodiac Barrage or Zodiac Rap here or Tenki. I'm not factoring Terra Top into this because Terra Top has its own one card combos that are incredibly beyond the scope of what I want to show you in this video. This, I just want to show you the basics. But So you definitely have nine starters. You have Tenki for Rat or you have Rat itself or you have Barrage. And what they end in is they end in Dryden, Emerald, and two draws. So you end up with three extra cards and a committed board. So it's a really strong opening. So I'm going to show you the rat side and then I'm going to show you the barrage side afterwards. The rat side is definitely a little bit better uh, as far as its ending thing, but it's a very minor difference. But anyway, so you start the play out with normal summoning your rat in this case, and you're going to send either a Zodiac Ram Ram or a Whip Tail to your graveyard, depending on what you want your ending board to be. Uh, basically, just what you want to support it. Whip Tail is a lot more progressive to the game state, so I prefer to do it. But then you're going to put your Boar Bow on top of your Rat Pier. You're going to attach the Rat Pier to summon another copy of Rat Pier from your deck. And then on top of the Boar Bow, you're going to put your Broad Bull, detaching your Boar Bow to add the Lunalite Black Sheep to your hand. And then you will discard the Black Sheep to add your Fusion Substitute. Now, Fusion Substitute is not live here, but that is about to change with the addition of putting Shaka Nine over the Broad Bull. Now, you can detach Broad Bull and you can revive the exact same Broad Bull, or you can revive Borbo. It does not matter which one you revive, it just has to be an Xyz monster. That way, your summoning requirements for Norden have been fulfilled, and you're going to activate your Fusion Substitute fusing the Shaka Nine and the Broad Bull into your Elder Entity Norden. Now, here off the Norden, you're going to bring back the zoo that you sent to grave off of the Rat Pier's initial dump. So you're going to bring back the Ram Ram or the Whiptail, whatever you dumped. Uh, now, like I said, it really just depends on what you want your ending board to be in terms of uh, what you want under the Dryden, essentially. Do you want Ram Ram for the big defense and the targeting protection, or do you want Whiptail to be more progressive at banishing things and having attack value? It's all up to you. But anyway, so you're going to overlay the Norden and the Rat Pier into Digusto Emerald. You're going to detach the Norden. And depending on what you play in your deck, if you play a second copy of Fusion Substitute, you'll put back the Black Sheep. Otherwise, you'll put back, like, the Broad Bull or something. But you're always going to put back the Chaka Nine, and you're always going to put back the Rat, just so you have more combos to do later. But So you'll put those back into your deck and extra deck, respectively, and then you will draw a random card. And now from here, your Fusion Substitute in Grave is live, so you're going to banish that, and you're going to put your Norden back into your extra deck and draw another card as well. And now from here, you can stack as many materials as you want going through Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar, or whatever, but essentially you're just going to end with Dryden on top of the Whiptail. So you'll end with a Dryden with either a Ram Ram under it, so the Dryden will be in defense mode, or you'll have the Whiptail under it. And it also just basically changes off like what other cards you have in your hand, what you drew off the combo. You could draw extenders, you can draw hand traps, you can draw more regular traps, you could draw extra copies of Whiptail. A bunch of different stuff is like available to you to what you could do for this combo sequence. But so this is what you do off of one normal summon of Rap here. So Rap here or Tinky. You end up with a Dryden with a relevant monster under it as far as what's giving it a stat boost, what's giving it something to do with an effect, and all that sort of stuff. Now I'm gonna reset real quick and I'm gonna show you exactly how it goes when you have barrage instead of the rat or the tanky. Alright, so if you have barrage, there's a very minor difference in the play sequencing, but it'll be exactly the same in terms of what your ending board is. You'll end with Dryden Emerald and two draws. But so you'll activate your barrage, you'll use your barrage to destroy itself and you will special summon your rat pier from your deck now off of that you will then put your Borbo on top of the rat pier 
and you will detach the rat peer to summon a second copy of rat peer from your deck and now again just like the first combo you're going to put the broad bull on top of the boar bow you're going to detach the boar bow and you're going to search for your lunalite black sheep which will then search for your fusion substitute and so from here again you're going to put the chaka nine over your broad bull and then you're going to detach the broad bull and bring back either the boar bow or the broad bull it literally does not matter because it can be detached and be the exact same thing that is the material that brings back as long as you had a valid target in the first place to use the chaka nine's effect uh, but then you'll activate the fusion sub fusing these two into your elder entity norden and then your norden here since you didn't dump a card with rat at the beginning of turn because it was special summon off barrage you're forced to bring back the other rat so you're still capable of doing the same exact play making your emerald and making your dryden but unfortunately the dryden in this case is not going to have a good material under it to give you some extra utility but so you're going to detach the norden and then here Based off what you have in your deck, again, if you have another fusion substitute, you're going to put back the black sheep. Uh, if you don't, you're just going to put back three seize monsters because you've got Borbo, Shock and Nine, and Broad Bull here. Uh, so it's very subjective to what you want to do. Uh, but so you do that, you shuffle this back into your deck, and then you draw a random card. And then you have your fusion substitute live in your grave, which you get to banish, putting your Norden back into your extra deck to draw another additional random card. And now from here, again, you just stack as many layers as you want under the Dryden, uh, but essentially you're going to end with Dryden, Emerald, and you've drawn two cards. So again, Barrage has never really had this since the ban list. Barrage has always been one of those things where you have to choose. You either end with Emerald and draw two, or you draw one off Fusion Sub and you end with a Dryden and uh, like a Whip Tail in hand. Um, like, stuff like that. It's never been like as good as it used to be before when we had three rat peers until now. And now it's only slightly worse than the original fusion sub combo because the original fusion sub combo would give you three draws, not two. But this one is still pretty dang strong in terms of what it allows you to do. And then also you just, you know, have the ability to reset resources with Emerald again next turn, all that sort of stuff. Uh, depending on what cards you draw, you could have a hand trap, you could have an extender, you could have whip tails that you drew into, stuff like that. There's multiple different things that this combo allows you to have as far as what you draw into and all that sort of stuff. So definitely, definitely respect the Zoo deck and definitely stay tuned if you want to see some more of the in-depth combos that I'm going to be showing on my channel in the coming days as well. So otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. If you want to help me make some of my pipe dreams for this channel possible in the coming months and all that sort of stuff, and you want to get in on a monthly giveaway at the end of each month as well, or possibly get access to my personal Discord server to chat with me on a 24-hour unrestricted basis, then definitely check out Patreon and check out the reward tiers and see if there's anything there to your liking. And if you just want to support the channel, then definitely go there and check that out as well. But other than that, as an alternative, you want if you want to also support the channel indirectly while buying or selling cards for yourself, then definitely check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and all the Zodiac cards that you saw in this video were directly supplied to me by them for video making purposes as a way to support the channel as well and support my ability to make content. So I'm a huge fan of how they supported the channel, and with what I've seen, their pricing and shipping and stuff like that, and what I've dealt with with their site, I'm a huge fan of how they do business as well. So definitely go check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Again, stay tuned for more Zodiac combos. If you like this video and you know some people that might also like my content, then definitely I encourage you to share the videos around to any groups or people or whatever, and definitely encourage them to possibly subscribe as well if they like what they see. It would definitely help the channel grow and all that sort of stuff, and that's what I'm trying to do. But anyway, other than that, as always, like I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, and take care, guys. I will see you in the next video.